My name is Reza Glazer and I'm in 8th grade. Hi, my name is Aris Piconi and I'm also in 8th grade. So we're going to start off the tour with talking to you about the library. So not only is the library a place where all the students can come and check out books, but it's also a place where some classrooms are. We have a library class for some of the students, but we also have 7th and 8th grade English and Social Studies being taught in here. Once a month we'll go to the Jewish home and we'll be able to have lunch with them and talk about them. And then as the year progresses we'll do different themes based on the holidays and whatever events are coming up. And it's a really great way to connect and just uh, take a break to talk to really knowledgeable people. It's a really amazing program. So in the broadcasting studio, the 8th grade has a broadcast class where we record things for the week to tell the students, teachers, and parents of the school what's going to be happening for the week. For example, we each have jobs and let's say one week I'm going to be weather. So I'm going to tell everyone what's happening for the weather this week, if it's going to be cold, if it's going to be warm, sunny, rainy, snowy, and then I'm going to tell you guys, oh, maybe you should wear a coat. And then we'll put it online so everyone can see and know what's happening for the week in the school. Another thing that we do in our broadcasting studio is send videos to our partner school in Modi Eam to help us stay connected. We have a program called the Shinshinim here and that's where Israel sends high schoolers over and they help out in our Jewish community. This is the STEAM lab and STEAM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Arts, and Math. In the STEAM lab, one of the main points we focus on is learning how to problem solve independently. One thing that's really cool that we have in the STEAM lab is 3D printers. school we have four tribes that every student is sorted into. So basically each tribe has some main traits that they showcase within their students and whether the students have a lot of those traits or a little of those traits we work on building them in the students. So for example I'm on the tribe of Shofarim and we work on equal justice and leadership. Another tribe is Chaibal and they work on sustainability and scholarship. science lab. Hi, so this is the science lab now and I'm going to be talking to you about our science fair that we do every year. For example, in 8th, 7th, and 6th grade, uh, they'll all do their own independent projects based on what they're learning that year. So what happens is every grade uh, does one some type of project and so uh, for kindergarten they'll do a class project and as you get older you'll start to do it more uh, independent. This year, for example, since I'm in 8th grade, I'll do something connected to living environment or biology. And so every grade can pick something that's interesting to them. Science class mainly consists of learning about science. This is also a really great room to do labs if you have to. The science lab is also a place where all the grades come to do their garden classes once a week. Pretty much in garden class, we just learn about how to garden. Sometimes we go out and help our garden, we plant things. And it's about learning about sustainability and how to keep our earth green. So this is the art room now and we have three specials. This is one of them and we have this class two times a week along with the other two which is um, music and gym. Every grade works on different projects and some grades are combined with other grades. Hi, so I'm Miss B. I'm the first and second grade general studies teacher and this is our little classroom. Um, we spend our days in here doing math, ELA, science, and social studies. What's really nice about our first and second grade is that we loop up together. So I have the same kids in first grade and in second grade, which is really great for their learning because we can just keep building each year rather than kind of starting fresh and reestablishing those relationships and routines and assessment. For me, working at Hillel School is making me feel most like home. I feel like this is my family. I come here every morning with motivation to teach Ivrit, to teach about Chagim, to teach about Israel, and to pass on all the traditions and the culture. I, I love it. I start the day with all my students praying and praising and learning about our traditions, about our Torah. I came here special from Israel to teach Hebrew in this specific school, and that's all I'm supposed to do here. So I arrived here three years ago, and the first day I arrived here, all the community, all the school community was so supportive. 
They all waited for me. They took care of me. They invited me for so many Shabbat dinner until today. And this year I got an awesome opportunity to teach third and up. And it's the first time I'm teaching here eighth grade and I'm so excited about it. Eighth grade, hopefully, will go to Israel for the Israel trip. And I'm so excited to learn Hebrew. And I'm so happy about this decision three years ago. What could be better than watching our buses pull up every single day and children getting on and knowing that they're the children of alumni's children? It's a beautiful thing at Hello School to see the concept of Lador Vador come to life in our community, seeing children inheriting the values of their parents and grandparents. Yeah! 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 Yeah!